Time is it? Time to get up. Your meeting's at 12. Oh, maybe five more minutes. Get up. <laughs> that one's dirty. Fine. No shower? I'll be late. <laughs> Some first impression that will be. You're supposed to impress, not repel him. I've just got no confidence in the story. Well, apart from maybe the second act. It's but... great. But seriously, how are you just... You're worrying too much. I'm sure he loves it. You'll be published before you know it. I guess, if you say so. Do you know what time you'll be back? I don't really know. I don't have a clue how long these things last. Okay, now go. You're going to be... Late. Yes, I know. Mind the gap. This train is ready to depart. Please stand clear of the door. Certainly. Uh huh. Okay. Have a great day and take care. All right. Bye bye. Graham! Hi! I know, I'm so, so sorry. I'm late. My oyster. Oh. No, 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 no. Do not worry about it. He's actually waiting for you. So, just go on in. Through there. Maybe I can meet up with you and Nicole in an evening soon. Go to the old bar? Don't worry about it. Good luck.
Mr. Cormack. You must be a very busy man, Mr. Morrison. Thank you for making time for me. You're welcome. You're a first-time writer, Graham? Well, I've done little things in uni, for the uni paper, and I've written a few stories for my girlfriend's primary school class. So, yes. At this level. Yes. At this level. You're currently employed? Well, I used to work in a bar before I moved in with my girlfriend, but I've been focusing on writing since then. And your girlfriend is Nicole, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Graham? When did you move in? I'm sorry. About two months ago. So how long were you writing the novel? It took me a month. A day and night. I put so much into this, <laughs> even more. I see. Well, your commitment is commendable, but a publishable novel generally takes longer than a month to write, especially for an amateur. No, I don't normally give advice to amateur authors, but why well, yes, you're a friend of the Hannahs and you seem like a genuine Man. I've written a few notes. It's a good idea. Thank you. But not good enough. See, Graham, to make it in this industry, you need experience. Or to have had an experience. I'm a great believer in the saying, write what you know. You don't understand how much I put into this story. You don't know. Yes. Unfortunately, it's not believable. It just doesn't work on any human psychological level. If you don't mind me asking, how so? Well, take your main character, for instance. The way he reacts to the death of someone he loves so much. It's irrational. Totally incomprehensible. So what happens now? Well, now, you can choose to read the notes and try again. Or you could ignore them and carry on the way you are. Either way, I have another meeting to attend. Thank you for your time. Don't you want it? Keep it. truck of your dreams. Buy from Lennington if you're not happy. Return your car in 10 days or less and walk away with a hundred dollar bill. That's a hundred dollar guarantee. The only one who loses is Lenning if you're not happy. And our function today is many of the
bags under his eyes, and, and now he's just got black eyes. So I think they did something to your eyes, Alex Hill, and you will hear more about that in a second. Anna wants to go to the old bar with us. You know I can't, baby. How was the meeting? Terrible. Everything I've done, for nothing. Sweetheart, what do you mean? What happened? I'll quote him. It's irrational. Totally incomprehensible. I don't understand. You put so much into it. Cave up so much. I know. Do you know what you're going to do? I don't know anymore. What do you think? You've gone too far to stop now. Notes. He doesn't understand. I've got experience. I'll tell Anna we can't make it. 